We know that Shopify is one of the most popular e-commerce platform. Many business owners choose to run their online business on Shopify. Also tracking website users is the most important thing to grow online business. What most of us do in Shopify is we set up tracking through partner integration. But experience has shown that it results in many data mismatches. So experienced marketers advise that if we can set up tracking manually, then the chance of data mismatch is very less. In this playlist, I will try to show you how to manually set up tracking on our Shopify website through Google Tag Manager. I have made a list of which videos I am going to present in this playlist like enable data layer without any paid apps then connect to Google Tag Manager and then Google Analytics 4 and set up e-commerce tracking for GA4 and GA4 server side tracking, Facebook Pixel, Facebook Conversion API etc. So in this first video I am going to show you how to enable data layer on our Shopify website without any paid apps. We know there are so many apps on Shopify apps store that provide GA4 data layer schema with paid plans. But I have some snippets if we can deploy that on our Shopify website then we don't need any paid apps. So let's see how to do that. This is my Shopify website. I will show you all kind of tracking setup on this website. I have made an another document for how to enable data layer step by step like see here first of all we have to connect google tag manager with shopify so let's create a google tag manager account open a new tab then search here google tag manager here you go open this google tag manager tagmanager.google.com since i have an account on google tag manager with this gmail so it's showing me like this interface if I hadn't any account here, then it would show like this interface. Click here, create account. Give your account a name. I'm going to name it according to my website. And then select your country. Then you can check it if you want, otherwise it is not compulsory. Then give your container a name. Then choose your platform. Since this container is for tracking my website, so I have to choose here web then click here create then tick these options and click here yes here you go our container is ready now we have to paste this code as high in the head section of our website so click here to copy and go to your website backend i'm already logged in in my backend of website and then go to your online store from the themes click on these three dots and then edit code now from theme.liquid then paste the code immediately after opening head tag then click on save now let's go to google tag manager and close this tab now let's go to preview to see if it's connected then paste here your website url and then connect tag assistant connected now we're gonna go to tag assistant tab and click on continue our user interactions are coming to Google Tag Manager. Since there is no data layer enabled on our website, so this data layer section is empty. But when we enable data layer on the website, we will get so many data here. So let's see the steps. We have connected Google Tag Manager. Now we have to create a snippet naming all events data layer and paste this code on this snippet. So let's go to website backend. And find out here snippets here we go this is the snippets click here to add a new snippet I'm gonna go to the document and copy the snippet name and paste here our snippet is ready now I'm gonna paste here this file I have opened this file here so I'm gonna copy this file and paste here and then save now let's see the steps again our first step is complete this step also complete now in theme.liquid file after gtm code include the snippet as this call so copy this and go to theme.liquid file and paste the call after gtm code then save go to the steps again or this step is also complete and the next step is for tracking checkout event go to settings checkout and then additional script and then we have to paste this file so let's go to the shopify backend 
exit from here go to settings then check out and scroll down here you go additional script now i will copy the file here i have already opened this file so i'm going to copy it and paste here on the top here also the gtm container code so i must have to change the container id so go on the top go to your google tag manager container and click on your container id here you go this is the container id copy it and paste here then save now again i will go to google tag manager preview mode tag assistant connected so click on continue now let's visit a product on the website go to tag assistant tab you can see here a view item event is fired here if i select it and go to data layer you can see all of the information about the visited product is here now i will show you a complete purchase journey so go to website and click on add to cart then view cart then check out since this website i have created just for demonstration purpose so i don't have any payment method here to complete this purchase journey i will enable here a bogus payment method so go to shopify settings and then go to payments then from payment providers choose a provider here you go for testing bogus gateway click here here is the guideline how to use this payment gateway now click here to activate it's activated so let's go to checkout page again and i'm going to refresh this page here we go our bogus payment gateway is enabled now complete all of these required fields here we go our purchase is complete now let's go to tag assistant you can see here on the left hand side every event is fired here every event is coming here with its data in detail like its purchase and its begin checkout its view card its add to card its view item all of this event is coming here with its information here i want to grab your attention to begin checkout event there are so many codes that don't work for begin checkout event but the code i have implemented on my website it also works for begin checkout so viewers we can say our data layer is successfully enabled on our website i'm going to the steps again or this step is complete and then test and preview it's also complete so that's it in this video i want to show you my first list that uh, shopify tracking setup i have completed the first video that is about enable data layer on shopify without any paid apps and i have also completed the second video that is shopify connecting with google tag manager i will try to make all of these videos step by step if you want to know about any other tracking on Shopify website, then don't hesitate to let me know. I will try my best to cover that. So that's it in this video. If you have any question or suggestion, feel free to write down in the comment box. I will reply that as much as possible. And if you need my service, then I'm a professional freelancer working on Fiverr and also working on Upwork. I'm providing my services on these marketplaces. You can place an order here. Otherwise, you can contact me on this WhatsApp number or on this Gmail. And if you found this video useful, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button below the video and consider subscribing to my channel. So, see you in another video. Until then, goodbye. Thank you so much.